Hey guys, so for today's video, I created another eyeshadow look using the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This is now my second tutorial with this palette, and I wanted to create something a little bit softer, and I tried to use the kind of slightly warmer tones today. If you want to check out my first look with this palette, it was a very glam, smoky look. I will link that down below for you, but if you want to see how I got this eyeshadow look, go and keep on watching. All right, my goal today is to make an eyeshadow look that is as warm as possible with the I Need a Nude palette. I know for sure I'm going to use Vague and Wit today, so let's get started. I did already prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to start with the shade Wit on a Sigma E28, and I'm going to use this brush to pack the shade in my crease. I say this all the time with Natasha's shadows, but I always like to start with a packing motion and then go into more of a blending motion. And I'm bringing the shade throughout my entire crease, so all the way in here to the inner corner, to the outer corner. And again, the shade is described as a matte, light, warm rose. And I just think it's peachy. It's like pinky peach. Like, this does not look like a rose to me. Now I'm going to pick up Fair on the same brush, and I'm going to use that to soften out the edges. Again, just kind of doing a pressing motion, and I'm kind of pushing upwards towards my brow. And while we're here, I'm also going to bring wit along my lower lash line. And as always, I like to connect the shadow from my outer corner all the way up into my upper crease right out here. Now I'm gonna to switch to a Sigma E57, which is a smaller packing brush in the shade Vague. And I'm gonna start by pressing this on the very outer part of my lid. This shade does look a little more rosy to me, a little more dusty. So I'm just packing that on the entire outer third of my eye. And I'm kind of stopping right here once I get into my eye socket. Now I want to blend out this harsh line right here. So I'm going to go back to that E28 and just kind of press right on top of that. Now I'm going to go back to Vague on the tip of my E57. And again, place that on the outer part of my lower lash line. And then again, just taking my E28 and just kind of softly blending on top of that. I'm really liking how these two colors look together. Now for the lid, I have a couple options here. I could do Whisper, I could do Muse, but I did do that in my last look. I could do Sheen, I could do Mia, like any of these lighter shades I think would look great on the lid. You could even make it all matte and put Fair on the lid. I think I'm gonna do Mia, so I'm gonna take that on my finger. And this is one of these sparkling wet effect eyeshadows. I have pretty high hopes for this on my eyelid. That's pretty. I think I'm also gonna bring that right on my inner corner. Ooh, okay, I brought that a little too far down, that's okay. I'm just gonna take my E28 and kinda like pat over this little part right here. Not a big deal. I'm gonna take whatever's left on my finger and just lightly pat towards the outer part of my eye. I just kinda want this to look like a soft wash just all over the lid. That is so pretty. And then I always like to take my fluffier brush and just kind of pat along my crease in here. I want to add a little bit of depth to my lower lash line, but I want to use a shimmery shade. So I'm going to take Filigree on the Sigma E21 and I'm going to stamp that along the base of my lower lashes. I look 
adding a shimmer to the lower lash line because it's just a little bit more exciting than a matte eyeshadow. It just kind of makes your eyes like sparkle a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna stamp a little more of this shadow on the outer part of my top lash line. I am getting a couple little marks of fallout with this shadow, but it's nothing bad because the shadow is a little like crumbly, so it's like wiping away really easily. All right, went ahead and popped on mascara and lashes, and for my lashes, I'm wearing the Bright Lashes Half Lash in Flirt. The Bright Lashes is my own lash brand, but how stinking cute is this little half lash? And this is the final eye look. I really liked how this turned out, and I feel like as the eyeshadow's kind of been like, I don't know, setting into my skin, it looks a little less peachy, and I can kind of see those like dusty rose tones coming out, and it's really not as warm as I thought these shades would look on the eyes. This is also just a really pretty everyday look, and that sparkling shade Mia all over the lid is so stunning. I love it. I'm having so much fun playing with this palette, so expect more tutorials with this palette from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.